Hi folks, thank you for tuning in. If you keep watching my video in my channel, then you know that I'm trying to shoot the full moon tomorrow. But actually, I'm gonna try it today because I'm seeing the weather condition that tomorrow maybe have 100 cloud coverage in the sky, so I might not able to shoot the moon tomorrow. Then I'm gonna try it today. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I shoot the moon using Raspberry Pi high quality camera. So let's get started. So the first thing when you're trying to prepare to shoot the moon using Raspberry Pi high quality camera, you need to check the weather. So right now I'm checking the weather in my area. And uh, here basically I will focus on the cloud cover and the transparency uh, stuff like that. And as you can see here in this shot, uh, in shot basically the uh, darker the better. Uh, in this chart. So as you can see here today, um, no, actually tomorrow morning at around 1 a.m., the uh, cloud cover, uh, it's almost nothing. So just a little and transparency is relatively good. I don't worry too much about the transparency because the moon will be super bright in the sky. So it doesn't uh, matter that much. So actually, basically, you can see here around 1 a.m. That's not too late in the night and the uh, condition of the cloud cover and the transparency and darkness is relatively good for me to shoot a moon tonight. But if you take a look at tomorrow, um, which is almost 100% uh, cover uh, by the clouds in the sky tomorrow night. So um, it's the last chance that I can shoot the full moon tomorrow. So I'm going to try to shoot it today. Today is not the full moon, it's one day prior to the full moon, but I think it's good enough. Uh, if um, I fail it today, I also able to try it uh, like one day after tomorrow. Uh, to see if there is a good condition there. So the first thing you need to check is uh, the weather forecasting. Otherwise, you are not able to know whether you have chance to shoot the moon or not. So that's the first thing, very important. Okay, so the next thing is to set up the gear. So you have to pick what kind of gear that you use. So uh, the first gear that I'm gonna use is uh, obviously is the uh, Raspberry Pi high quality camera. Also, I was gonna use EF lenses, so I'm gonna have, I would need to have a EOS to see adapter so that I can use uh, that Canon lenses over there. I will use Raspberry Pi um, 3B Plus here because that's the only one that I have on hand. I actually ordered a Raspberry Pi 4, but it's, um, super popular right now, so it takes time to ship. Um, so I think it will gonna take another um, 15 days uh, to arrive to me, so that's a long time. And I cannot wait that uh, to shoot the full moon. So uh, for the length, I'm gonna use the uh, the most um, telescope length that I have. Uh, this one is the uh, 70 uh, to 300 millimeter uh, EF lenses that I have on hand. I will probably using the 300 millimeter side. So that if I using this line, this side uh, on the uh, high quality camera, Raspberry Pi high quality camera, then the sensor of this camera module is two, uh, one to two thirds. So it's actually, um, if you're trying to calculate the uh, equivalent 35 millimeter fume um, focal length, you will need to use the 300 millimeter times uh, 5.62 to um, to get the uh, equivalent focal length uh, if you're using um, a lens on the full frame. So I'm gonna do that calculation right now. Actually, I already done it in my phone. So here is the result that you're using 300 times 5.62. So the result that you got is 1,686. So that means if you want to get the same angle 
um, using a full frame camera, you have to have a lenses uh, that is uh, in a focal length of 1686. So that's pretty long. So I think it should be good enough for me to shoot the moon using this lens. And one thing you have to be careful is uh, when you're using the uh, focal length like this, it's super telescope and you will, uh, where you need to be very careful that you don't, uh, you are not allowed to make any tiny movement on your floor so that uh, uh, any small movement, any small um, unstable on your camera will gonna transfer into a huge shake um, on your image. So that's not good. So once I set it up, I'm gonna remote access to my Raspberry Pi and then control it from a distance so that my movement won't affect too much about the image quality there. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna spend some time and then I'm gonna show you how it looked like. And this is how it looks like when uh, I put on the lens, uh, the Raspberry Pi and the uh, high quality camera on the same tripod. So one more thing, um, that uh, I have a power band down below so that I can power the Pi on uh, if I go into a spot that doesn't have uh, the wall power. Uh, so I won't need to check. Uh, this power band has the full power. Uh, yes, it is. So it's good. So now I'm ready. And when that is up, then uh, the only thing we're gonna need to do is wait the moon to come out. And for that to come, uh, actually it requires some lucky because as you can see earlier today, that uh, in my area is pretty cloudy and not able to see the sky. So right now in my area, there's a lot of cloud in the sky that covers the moon, which makes it impossible to see the moon. But the forecasting says that uh, tomorrow at about 1 a.m. I should be able to get a clear sky. And by that time, I might be able to see the moon. And I can shoot the moon with the camera. So let's wait until then. Thank you.